quite sure where this story comes from. Uh, some people say it happened once upon a time. Other people suggest it happened a long, long time ago. Well, I'm not sure. Perhaps it was a week last Tuesday. It definitely wasn't today because I've been around all day and I haven't noticed this one pop up until now. There was once a boy called Tommy. And Tommy went for a walk in the woods. And then he was thirsty and he saw a river. And so he put his hands together. Can you put your hands together? He scooped up the water to drink. What? The water's gone. Try again. Put your hands together. Scoop up the water to drink. Is my skin made of paper? Are my bones made of sponge? But then we hear a voice coming out of a hole in the ground. <laughs> and climbing out of that dark hole is a nasty little elf. Yes, I am a nasty little elf because I don't like people coming into my wood and drinking my water. It's not your wood and it's not your water. The rain falls from the sky. I don't want to know about the water cycle. Get out of my wood now. No, I'm fed up. People coming into my woods, walking their Dogs, oh no, children doing Andy Goldsworthy sculptures with their forest school teachers. Oh, I'm going to put up a sign. I'm going to put up a sign that reads, please do not read this sign. <laughs> I'm going to put up another sign that says, if you've noticed this notice, you've probably noticed this notice is not worth noticing. I'm going to put up barbed wire. I'm going to build a wall. I don't want anyone coming into my wood and drinking my water. Oh, please, please, let me have a drink of water. Oh, kids, pester power. All right, you can have a drink of water, but only if you can answer not one, not two, but three questions. Three questions? I'm not very good at answering questions. I always forget the answer and... Bad luck, you won't get a drink of water. Right, the first question I'm going to make really hard. How many trees are there in this wood? How many trees? One, two, three. Oh, no, 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 no. I think there's a tree behind that tree and, and that tree keeps moving around. I can't keep count. Bad luck. <laughs> and the second question. Oh, how many stars? In the night sky. I don't know. I'm not Brian Cox. I am got a big telescope. Bad luck. And a third question is... What am I thinking? What are you thinking? How do I know? And with that, the nasty little elf disappears down into his hole in the ground. And there's poor little Tommy. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. His eyes are filling up with water. He's about to blubber when along the way comes. A nice elf hopping and skipping along. And the nice elf, he comes up to Tommy and says, Hello, Tommy. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? There's a nasty elf down there and I want a drink of water and I've got to answer three questions. I don't know the answer. Oh, dry your eyes, Tommy. I'll help you. What's the first question? Well, the first... I've forgotten. Can you remember the first question? Yes! How many trees in the wood? You'd make a good storyteller. You've got a good memory. 
How many trees in the wood? Well, I don't know, says the nice elf. But if you can find Tufty the squirrel, she's always swinging through the trees. She'll know. Oh, thank you. And the second cookie. I've forgotten. Can you remember? Yes. How many stars in the night sky? You'd make a good storyteller because you've got a good memory. Hmm. Well, I don't know, says the nice elf. But if you can find... Oh, if you can find Lily the frog. She's always sitting on the lily pad staring up at the night sky. She'll know the answer. <gasps> Thank you. And the third... <sighs> You remember, don't you? Yes! <laughs> What's the nasty elf thinking? You'd all make very good storytellers because you've got good memories. Not like Tommy. Ooh. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> and the nice elf says, Well, if you can find Ollie the owl, he'll know the answer to that. Thank you, says Tommy. But then the nice elves disappeared. Oh, either that, or he's gone somewhere else. Either that, or he's invisible. Either that, or oh, get on with the story. And so now all we have to do is find Tufty the Squirrel. Can anyone see Tufty the Squirrel? I used to have a little furry, fluffy puppet. Oh, it was never so snug on my hand. But I lost it. Sorry, so you'll have to pretend. Hello, my name's Tufty the Squirrel. Has anyone got a question for me? Yes! I know how many trees are in the woods. Do you know every day I have to climb up into the trees to check everything's tickety-boo. Do you know what grows on an oak tree? Acorns! I thought they'd taken that out of the children's dictionary. And do you know what grows on a horse chestnut tree? Yes, I'm bonkers about conkers too. And do you know what grows on a potato tree? Yes, and a spaghetti tree? Yes, and there is a tree where there are lots of people sitting, writing with pens and pencils on paper and in exercise books, and some have even got their laptops out. Do you know what sort of tree that is? Some of what they write rhymes and some doesn't. Yes, it's a poetry. <laughs> and I know how many trees there are. Now put your hands out, please, like this. And write this number. Nine. 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 What's that all together? You're not 27. Nine hundred and ninety. Nine. I'm off now. I'm going to swing through the trees like Tarzan. Oh, ouch. Oh, 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 great. Tommy's got the answer to the first question. Now, all we need to do is find Lily the Frog. Can anyone see? No, you can't see Lily the Frog because I've just moved the laptop screen. Over here. Hello. Is your name Lily? Yes. sure your name's Lily? That's the name my mum gave me. You've got a very unusual voice. I've got a very sore throat. You'd have a sore throat if you were living in a bottom of a pond half of the time. I've got laryngitis and the shops aren't open to get any strep seals. No! Bit of advertising there. Sorry about that. Uh, other brands are available. <laughs> We've got a question for you. What is it? What's the question for Lily? How many stars are there? Well, <laughs> last night I was sitting on the lily pad on my pond, looking up at the sky. It was such a clear night indeed. There were so many stars, it was so bright, I had to put my star glasses on. But even still, there were so many stars, they were overcrowded. They kept knocking against each other, cheek by jowl. Then one stood on another's foot. Oh, they started arguing. They pulled their guns out. There were lots of shooting stars. Pow, 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 pow. 
Oh, and lots of them fell in my pond. Uh, warmed it up a little bit. Uh, have you got a good profile of me? What's my best side? What's my worst side? Ha! 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 How many stars are there? I'll tell you, there's still a lot left. Write it down on your arm this time. There are more stars in the sky than grains of sand on the beach. Have you done that? Good. Don't care what your parents or your teachers say. And don't forget a full stop either. More stars than grains of sand on the beach. Remember that, won't you? And Lily, the frog, hops off back to the lily pad on the pond. Wow, I've got the answer to the second question. All I have to do now is find Ollie the octopus. Oswald the octopus. <gasps> Ollie the... Can anyone see? Ollie the owl. Ah, there he is. <laughs> Hello, my name's Ollie the Owl. Has anyone got a question for me? And not why do I waddle like a clockwork penguin? Yes, we've got a question for you. What's the question? What's the nasty elf thinking? What's the nasty elf thinking? <laughs> He's thinking he's the cleverest elf in the world. And off goes Ollie the Owl up into the old oak tree. And so now Tom has got the answers to the questions. Can you put your hands together, scoop up the waters and... Oh, it's gone again. And who's coming out of the hole in the ground? It's me. I'm back. Oh, there's lots of people in this wood now. Don't you be litter bugs. Oh, right then. I'm going to ask you the questions. And if any of you get them wrong, I'm chucking you in a river. Right, first question. How many trees in this wood? 999, you said that. Was it you? Was it you? Was it you, 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 you? All right, you'll never get the answer to the second question. How many stars are there in the night sky? There are more stars in the sky than grains of sand on the beach. You're helping each other, you are. Right, you'll never get the answer to the third one because oh, I am such a complex character. Not even William Shakespeare could do me justice. Perhaps Ingmar Bergman could. Ah, right in. What am I thinking? <laughs> oh, I'm thinking. I'm the cleverest elf in the world. I'm the nasty little elf. Why, he's so angry. He gets so flustered. He gets so head up. He begins to blow himself up like a big balloon. Like a great, 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 great tomato. And then he goes pop. And lots of pieces of red elf fall to the ground like strange coloured snow. But for those who associate with the bad characters, listen from off stage. Nino, 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 Nino. And someone from the National Elf Service comes by, scoops him all back together, and makes him sit on the naughty log. No, oh, well, I've got to sit on the naughty log and think of the consequences of my actions and how they affect other people. Oh, but now, everyone, let's join in with Tommy. Let's put our hands together, scoop up the waters, and drink, 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 
drink, drink. Ah, but before this story ends, a public service broadcast. Please do not go to any river roundabouts and scoop up the water and drink. Because if you do, you might swallow some baby fish and their mummy will be very, very sad. Plus, if you drink that water, it could make you go... Bleh!